So the code of practice for the governance of state bodies was established in 2016 and it really was established to support Irish organizations, specifically commercial and non-commercial uh, state bodies, implement effective corporate governance. So the purpose of the corporate uh, of the code really um, is to help an organization um, establish the risk and compliance uh, committee or sorry risk and audit committee um, and the risk and audit committee is there to support the board uh, implement uh, effective corporate governance across the organization and ensure that key areas within the organization actually hit a high level of maturity and that includes risk, compliance, audit, and financial due diligence. Some of the common challenges while implementing the code of practice uh, really stem from the amount of, of data required. Uh, very often people are the process, uh, evidence and gathering of uh, certain due diligence are quite complex. Uh, there's a lot of data required, evidence gathering is, is, is very often ad hoc um, and very often stored all over the place. So when it comes to actually you know, implementing it effectively, what you're actually trying to do is create uh, key KPIs that can be reported on. And if the data is lying all over the place and people are running processes, that means you know, no one's following up on them, no one's understanding where those processes are, there is a lot of data that is just out there and one of the core challenges is then trying to bring all of that back together and turn that into a meaningful report that actually proves that you've implemented the code of practice effectively. So one of the challenges with implementing um, the code of practice is the evidence, uh, gathering of evidence and the audit trails associated to that. So Finity has a built-in audit trail into the platform and what that means is that from the very beginning of the implementation of your code you have a living audit trail that actually shows where you are within the implementation, uh, where your evidence sits, who's running what controls assessments, who's provided what evidence, who's signed off on that, uh, that evidence. And the second part is the actual evidence itself, right? So in that instance, you know, you've got different types of evidence. They could include things like policies, standards, processes, um, actual implementation of key controls, um, as well as management of risk. All of this requires evidence that you're actually doing what you said you're supposed to do, and what Finity helps you achieve is the ability to prove that you have an audit trail and that you have the evidence that you've effectively implemented the code of practice. So the benefits of, of using Finity within the implementation of your code of practice um, is that basically what it does is it turns your uh, audit and risk committee into superhumans and the reason why it turns them into superhumans is that they can actually go into the business go deep into those different business units to actually extract the information extract the risk extract the level of compliance within those different departments and pull that back into meaningful reports for the board to action effectively